Around the NFL today, the Buffalo Bills clinched the AFC East title, and the AFC West fell into a three-way tie as the top three teams there all suffered embarrassing losses. But first to Dallas, Texas Stadium, the Cowboys hosting the AFC Central leading Bengals. First quarter for Cincinnati, it's James Brooks. Breaks out, breaks away for a 51-yard touchdown. Brooks, 16 carries, 148 yards, 7-0 Bengals. Cowboys in bad shape, 7-3 in the second quarter. Boomer Esiason, plenty of time, hits Rodney Holman, 20 yards in for the touchdown. Esiason would hit Holman again before the half, 24-3 lead at the half, 24-10 in the third. Esiason with the fake, then he hits Brooks, 13 yards. He was 16 of 29. Bengals 38-24. Cowboys lose their eighth straight. The Bengals are on top of the AFC Central at 9-3. Chicago beat Tampa Bay 27-15. The Bears 10-2 on top of the NFC Central. The Bills, as we said, beat the Jets 9-6. That game went to overtime. The Bills clinched the AFC East with the best record in all of the NFL at 11-1. The Minnesota Vikings had a tough game at Indianapolis, but the Vikings win 12-3. Vikings 8-4 behind the Bears. Browns over the Steelers 27-7 today. Browns 7-5 and, and two games from first place Cincinnati and one from Houston. In Houston, the Oilers and the Cardinals tangle in an early game today. Jerry Glanville stalking the sidelines, the man in black. Warren Moon had a big day. Second quarter, Moon airs it out. Drew Hill, he's gone. 17-0 Houston. In the third quarter, it's Moon again to Ernest Givens. 30 yards. Whoa, what a day. Uh, Givens, five catches, 118 yards. Fourth quarter, Moon to Givens again. Moon, 17-31, 266 yards, three touchdowns. Houston, 8-4 as they knock off the 7-5 Cardinals, 38-20. The Atlanta Falcons surprised the Los Angeles Raiders, 12-6. All three AFC West leaders lose the Broncos, the Raiders, and Seattle, so they stayed tied. The Chiefs beat the Seahawks. 27 to 24 and on Monday night it's going to be the Washington Redskins and the San Francisco 49ers also what do we have okay the Lions beat the uh, Green Bay Packers 19 to 9 when we come back we're going to show you Tulane a team on the comeback and a Miami team that took Baton Rouge by storm Until now, the hardest part of working up a thirst was quenching it. Because even though thirst quenchers were good for you, they just didn't taste very good. Until 10K. Finally, a thirst quencher with vitamin C, low sodium, and great taste. So next time you work up a thirst, you'll have something to look forward to. A 10K. What are you waiting for? It's Benson Nissan's 88 Moving Out Sale. Get a new 88 Nissan van and save $3,088. Or an 88 Pathfinder and save $4,088. Even this 300 ZX. Save an incredible $5,088. Plus, see the all-new 1989 Maxima. Sale price this week, only $17,995. Only at Benson Nissan. Between Causeway and Clearview on Veterans. Let's talk car insurance for a minute. Did you know that for every 10 people that call U.S. agencies for an automobile quote, eight will end up getting their car insurance there because of the price? When you call U.S. agencies, you get a customized quote that's tailored to your individual needs, like a choice of down payment and monthly payment plans. And there's more. You walk out that day fully insured with your policy and vehicle ID card in your hand. Now, isn't that reason enough to call U.S. agencies today? Tulane and Mississippi State Saturday, the final home game for Terrence Jones, and he leaves the field at the half with a bruised shoulder. Before he left, though, Terrence moved into sixth place on the all-time NCAA total offense chart. Sixth place. Terrence told me he'll do everything he can to make it back for next week's finale at L LSU. Tulane is suddenly 5-5, five and, five, and with a win next week at Baton Rouge, they could finish 6-5 and five for the second year in a row. Here it was again Saturday. Terrence Jones was on fire as he hooked up with wide receiver Jerome McIntosh, who's a junior. McIntosh going, going, gone, 65 yards. And Tulane is out in front of the Bulldogs of Mississippi State, 17 to 6. 
Later, Jones drops back, and he'll take off on this play. What's coming up, a 45-yard run for Tulane, the longest of the season for Tulane. But on the play, Jones gets hit and suffered a bruised shoulder. But before coming out, just before halftime, he'll launch this one to James Toney in the end zone. Touchdown! Jerome Woods would replace Jones. Woods in the second half hands off to McIntosh. The XQB fires to James Toney. A big play, but the Wave managed just three points in the second half. State makes a comeback, but the Tulane defense hangs in there. Robocop Lonnie Martz with the tackle. The final Tulane 27, Mississippi State 22, and Coach Greg Davis has won two in a row. How about that team everybody wrote off? Well, I'm proud of the Greenway. I'm extremely happy for them. I think I had okay first half. I was looking really, really looking forward to second half until I got injured. But um, I remember this game tonight, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people were also. I think early, early part of the year we were more uptight. You know, we, we were pressing, thinking we had to do it. We had to, we had to play good offense. We had to stop them on defense. And now, now it's just a matter of relaxing. We're not in a bold picture, so it's just go out and have fun with it. Now, Terrence Jones was headed for a record-setting day, and that's why he was disappointed. He was 7 of 9 for 144 yards. He had rushed for 77 yards before coming out. Now the Green Wave go to Baton Rouge, perhaps to face an angry LSU squad. The Tigers, as you know, suffered one of the worst defeats in their history last night as Miami trounced them 44 to 3. Only a one-point loss to Notre Dame in a game where they committed seven turnovers stands between the Canes now and another clear shot at a national title. But wherever they end up winning it all or not, most experts agree this is the baddest team of them all. Inside the five and into the end zone, Gary fumble. Is the ball alive? It is. And Miami has it for the touchdown. Is right. Yeah, our main goal was to come, seek, and destroy and win. And that's what we did. It was over probably with 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. Gary scores for Miami. We play football the way it's meant to play. Few who saw last night's game will disagree. In fact, it often seems the Hurricanes play at a level of their own. We're not satisfied. You know, a couple games we won by 30 points and we weren't satisfied. We know when we've played good, and when we play good, we're satisfied. And only, you know, only we know what we can do. What they can do and do better than anyone is play on the road. Death Valley, the Canes saw it at its finest and barely batted an eyelash. Oh no, you know, we, we, you know, really it's, we thrive on an atmosphere that, that was created here and, and uh, you know, with the Tiger and the, and the great fans and, and uh, just going crazy. It's a great atmosphere to play in and, and we love it. And they also love scoring and scoring and scoring. No matter how big a lead they have, no matter how much time is left, as they proved again last night. No way do I feel bad about throwing the ball with, you know, two minutes left like that. I mean, and, uh, you know, we, we play football for 60 minutes and, and don't expect us not to throw the ball because that's what we do in our offense. So with another road win in hand, another hostile land conquered, you have to wonder if the Canes are human. Can anything bother this team? Yeah, a better football team. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a better football team can intimidate them. <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we haven't run into one yet. Match them up against the Saints. That's it for fourth down on four tonight. By the way, I'd like to announce that Moses has left the building. Uh, I'd like to thank our photographers, John Gagliano, who suffered through the rain in Baton Rouge last night, and today's photographers on the Saints game, Bob Parkinson and Bob Reigert. I'm Joe Amato. We'll see you next week. Good night. Four has been brought to you by New York Life, McDonald's, Benson Automotive World, 10K Thirst Quencher, and U.S. Agencies.